With the Camaro, what's really interesting is how they've achieved the lack of downforce that we managed to generate with the ZB. A big part of that is the rear wing. If we have a look at the rear wing in its current form, you see how flat it is on the top edge here. It's not really a teardrop shape like the old wing did, and it has no back extension on it, which is what we call the gurney flap. So by putting this rear wing on the car and the front under tray that we've cut out, we've achieved only a third of the downforce that we used to be able to achieve with the ZB, which ideally is meant to make for better racing, closer racing, because you're not so reliant on the air coming over the car to grip it onto the ground. It's more of a mechanical grip. So in theory, you can run a lot closer to the car in front. While we're talking about that, you notice the rear wing end plate's very small on this car. This is the rear wing end plate off a ZB and it's quite big. And what that means is when the car is in yaw, as it's going around the corner, it has more air blowing on this, which stops the car over rotating. Now you wouldn't think when you compare with this with this, it would make much difference, but the truth is everything helps. The other interesting fact is these rear wings, and this is the one off the ZB, so you can see how different the shape is. Look how that's more like a teardrop. It has this little extender at the back. Now that's called a gurney flap. So that was developed by an ex-race car driver who owned a team in America that used to make Eagles. His name was Dan Gurney, very well-established race car driver. And in 1971, he designed this in about 20 minutes. His driver at the time in an IndyCar was Bobby Unser. So they put this little lip on the back of the wing because he just thought that it would work. And Bobby went out and ran the car around. He was slower than what he was with the real wing on the car. So when everyone had left, Bobby said to him, look, that really worked well. It had so much understeer, it wouldn't turn around the corners. If you put it on the front as well, this thing's gonna generate a lot more grip than it did with the old wings. Dan Gurney didn't want to uh, try and hide it too much because it was easy to see. So he told people he put it on there. So when you pushed it, you weren't up against the sharp edge of the wing. And so it took people a long time to work out what he was doing and uh, it was very effective. We still run them now. They're used in general aviation as well. Helicopters and aeroplanes use them. They run it on the pressure side. So on an aeroplane, it's underneath because they're trying to get lift with an aeroplane where with a race car, we're trying to get down for. So that'll be around forever, the gurney flap, but a mil or two mil on this makes a huge difference. And uh, it's one of the tools we use when the ZB couldn't, couldn't, didn't have enough grip as the Mustang in the old ZB Mustang times, and we ran this gurney on the rear wing end plate, you wouldn't think that would make much of a difference. It's only five mil, but as I said earlier, it certainly did.